It's in our blood. Puerto Rico! We're loud and we're proud. Everything we do, we're passionate about. We go hard and we find a way to get it done. The second you get a whiff of this sport, the second you get a chance to watch or play this sport, you will be hooked. Being Hispanic, being Latino, we love sport and hockey is that next sport for us. This is one of the more undertold story events in hockey. It's a tournament that uh, invites uh, hockey teams from Latin American countries like Argentina, Brazil. In 2019, they invited Jamaica. This year, they had a, a bonus team in Lebanon from the Middle East. There's people that believe that Latinos don't want hockey, but we have people from all over Latin and Central America who've paid their own way to say, we want to play. All these countries are, are playing for, for pride, for fun, but also for the future of ice hockey in their countries. The majority of these countries, with the exception of Mexico, don't have ice rinks. The opportunity should be available to everyone, and that's really what motivates me, is creating memories for them and experiences that otherwise they would not have. And for me, it's very special. In 2018, Otero opened the opportunity for the first time to stay in the ice hockey. And um, for us and my team, is awesome. Our focus is Latin America and the Caribbean and growing the game, but the goal is to keep the doors open for everybody. Slide to the bumper, Lindo! Slide to the bumper! I was raised in a Caribbean household, and it was something that I, you know, I took pride in. That's why I want to be involved in, to come together and you know have all these different countries, from Chile to Puerto Rico to Jamaica, and come together through sport is, is, is really the most beautiful thing. The fact that they were playing hockey on ice is incredible to them. And, you know, this year we have the Stanley Cup here, and that's just like a dream come true for so many of these players that I just can't wait to see their expressions. The second I heard of Juan Carlos building this hockey tournament, it was just a sense of pride that I needed to get to know this guy. I needed to meet him. I needed to understand him. We break the barriers down so these kids don't have to do it anymore. Sport is for everyone. Growing up Cuban-American in Chicago, there weren't people that looked like me or sounded like me. And I felt I was living a dual life and hockey really let me navigate and sport was my equalizer. Puck is in front, Montoya reads it, sees it, stops it. Being the first Cuban-American to play in the National Hockey League, it's something that I never took lightly. And when you sit around a room and, and you only see, you know, 30 people from minority backgrounds in the NHL and you wonder why aren't there more? Representation means a lot. I think in order to have uh, uh, heroes or someone to look up to, you have to see them first. That's the reason I'm here today. So those kids could see someone like themselves in a position on the ice and also off the ice working within the game of hockey. I'm one of those kids. I'm a 52-year-old former hockey player. I'm Croatian, Jamaican. I grew up in Jamaica. My parents had no idea what hockey was. But to assimilate amongst all my friends, they said, hey, why not try this? We, we've got to do the same thing. We've got to tell people we want you. We've got to speak their language. We have to be culturally relevant. There's so many things we have to do and not just think if we build something and say it's available that people are going to show up. I feel like the more this tournament grows and there's more exposure, that they're going to have opportunities to build a rink in these countries because I really feel that investments need to be made. What started out with like six, nine teams has grown to 29 teams this tournament. Next year, Juan Carlos is envisioning having a sub-Saharan African division. He's created a monster. It's a very festive atmosphere. There's definitely a soccer vibe here. They're cheering, they're singing, they're really proud to represent their country's colors. We're familia. We're here to represent our country and our family, our friends, our teammates. It's an honor for me to represent my team and my country at the same time for this tournament. This is important because it is, it's spreading the game of hockey everywhere. It's giving people opportunities who don't have the opportunities in their countries to play hockey. And it's just, it's fun for everyone. They know hockey, they know the nuances of hockey, they know the plays. You know, there's bragging rights, they're talking smack, but there's also this commonality of that we're all in this together trying to build something that people think does not exist. And they're shattering myths. It's been an amazing week being able to play with people who look just like me, who have the same culture like me. Now we get to show off that Puerto Rico and hockey is a 
thing. What's happening now is we start including more and more players because the more we grow, the more we diversify, the more beautiful this game will become. Hockey is for everyone. This game knows no geographic boundaries, knows no racial boundaries. I believe this is the best sport in the world. And the more we grow and the more we include everybody, the best player is yet to be born. Estoy aquí para apoyarlos y quiero decir que este juego es para todos.